Fred 62's, a diner on the corner of Vermont and Northwest Los Angeles, caters to quite the crowd. While other businesses have shut their doors, Fred's manages to stay afloat. I heard that two things that haven't struggled since the economy started sucking is uh, fast food and alcohol. And, you know, we get the effect of the drugs, so that's mostly our business at night. According to the leading market research group, NPD, Restaurant business is down almost 4% across the board. Night manager Cameron Stewart agrees the pinch is felt at Fred's. Definitely. Definitely. Stewart says that while business is good, tips are down from about $300 on a weekend night to about $140. Stewart notes that the atmosphere at Fred's makes it a destination. You know, and it's another alternative to like Denny's or IHOP or something like that. It's got a little more you know, fusion and or whatever you want to call it, but you know, you can also pull off your regular morning cafe and coffee and eggs type thing. Early morning regular Michael Tiger agrees. The ambiance, it has a kind of welcoming feeling. Uh, it's kind of like um, trendy, but yet still it's not snooty. Stewart adds that the value of a 24-hour restaurant is big. It caters to all walks of life, you know. It's like me, I'm, I'm a night owl. I, I love staying up at night. It's people like Tiger that keep Fred's doors open. You gotta say, our customers and our regulars take care of us. Well, you can see a Denny's from just about every floor in the nation. Fred's has created a niche for itself thanks to its offbeat atmosphere. It's something its customers just can't get enough of. This is Ruth Franz reporting from Los Angeles.